Hi, I'm Andrew Beal, and I'd like to just take a minute to tell you about my new book, Trail Guide to Movement. But before we talk about the book, we need to talk about you. You see, this morning, you did something absolutely amazing, and you probably didn't even realize it. Here's what it was. You got up out of bed, walked down the hall, and then while standing in place, brushed your teeth. Now, if that didn't happen, you might want to get yourself a breath mint. But assuming it did, congratulations. And why is that so spectacular? Because it's an example of how you move in everyday life. Look, let's be honest. Many of your kinesthetic processes, as well as those of your clients or your patients, won't involve winning a gold medal. No. Most will be small, slight, and unimpressive actions. Yet, they are also the actions that make you a capable, functioning human being. And how that happens makes for an incredible story. The story of Trail Guide to Movement. As an introductory guide to the principles of kinesiology, or human movement, Trail Guide to Movement is not just another textbook. And why not? Well, because I just didn't want to write another boring explanatory textbook. Movement is this, movement is that. I don't think readers want to read that. Instead, I thought, what if the reader and I went on a journey together to build a body capable of movement? And along the way, the reader would learn all of the stuff that they would hope to learn, but in an engaging, memorable, and fun manner. Let's say that you're the reader. Here's how it works. You and I, along with a crack team of construction workers and lab technicians, will gather up all of the key ingredients of movement, which are surprisingly few, by the way, and then assemble them together to create a movable body. So, if we were going to do that, what do we need? Well, first and foremost, connective tissue the material that will form the body's framework. And then we'll install some joints that will allow for movement to occur. And of course, we'll need some motors to generate movement, and I bet you can figure out what those are. That's right, muscles. And finally, we need some nerve tissue to coordinate all of your actions. Now, connective tissue, joints, muscles, and nerves are clearly essential for movement, but in order to get the body that we've built up and moving, We'll also need some biomechanics, which are the laws of physics that apply to the body. Now, don't panic. All of these biomechanical elements like force and gravity, levers and laws of motion are just another way to talk about everyday actions. So with all of that in place, now it's time to, well, test drive our body and see if it's capable of mobility and stability. And if we've done our job correctly, we could really challenge this body like, I don't know, juggling chainsaws on a tight wire or something, I don't know. But actually, all we're going to demand are two seemingly simple tasks, to stand in place and walk across a room. And thus, our story ends with chapters dedicated to the subjects of posture and gait, standing and walking. And that, in a nutshell, is a synopsis of the journey involved in Trail Guide to Movement. And peppered throughout the text are a hundred side stories about movement, while the back of the book includes quiz questions, a glossary, and more. Thanks so much for listening, and don't hesitate to contact us with any questions about Trail Guide to Movement.